So, uh, another just before bedtime update. Uh, someday I'm gonna be able to make updates in the middle of the day too, but not as long as well as as small as she is right now. Uh, another long day. Uh, a lot of with Ika. She didn't want to drink after operation. Uh, she drank, drank some uh, yesterday uh, in the evening. She didn't want to drink anything in the morning and she didn't want to drink anything during the day today. So it's really weird and we call her vet since one. But now in the evening she's been drinking in the evening a little bit so she's doing better. But yeah, it's worrying. It's, you know, it's more this trend. Yeah. So yeah. But really hope that she's going to do better soon because um, this is hot breaking and nerve breaking and yeah. So on. And uh, right now when I do this video, uh, I've been watching the election in the United States naturally. And right now when I uh, do this video, the, um, they have announced a result from all the prime, yeah, prim, pr uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, the first kind of result, which isn't uh, final, but um, anyway, <coughs> uh, it's uh, they only be able to um, get the results of three states and the other one, uh, other states, um, which have closed um, election. Uh, they no longer can <coughs> can vote. I'm sorry, I have I have broke my throat again. Um, it's uh, too close to call and that's a bit worrying. I I really really hope that people don't vote for Donald Trump. I know a lot of people do that, but it's so stupid to do that. I mean, I don't like Hillary Clinton. Uh, I was very much for Sanders, uh, but I don't really like Hillary Clinton. But I think she's like a normally bad politician. It's like they usually are. They have a lot of bad things going on and they are not the most honest people and so on. But they are like a normal person at least. Uh, and uh, <coughs> she's not dangerous. She's not harming for, for the country or for the rest of the world. But I just think about those, to me, big questions about safety, drug and bomb, gun control, gun control and so on. That is not a good thing when it comes to <laughs> Donald Trump. Um, Talking about women's right, uh -huh, yeah, right. I mean, the, la the world is already laughing at the United States. It's like the um, the dinosaur. It's like when you time travel and talk to somebody uh, from Jews about uh, women's rights and so on. It's like so basic. We was there in the 1950s and 1960s, and we are there now. And it's like okay. I'm sorry about living in the United States. I know I have several friends living in the US who are really, really great people. But I'm talking in general, if you're looking at the debates in newspapers or at uh, internet forums and so on, the general uh, attitude is very, very old. I know a lot of great people living in the US, so sorry, don't misunderstand me. But I also had a lot of this worry, like living in the 1950s and not in 2016. Uh, the same go to go, go, is about environment. I hear people, I see a lot of um, people referring to research done in the 1970s that wasn't accurate. I was like, uh, yeah, they was wrong in the 1970s. Uh, 40 years has passed. We have gotten all of that. Both scientists are mostly dead right now. Um, we know much more today, can't we just, you know, accept that? And now the world is round, yeah, and now Earth is round and circling around the sun, not the other way around. It's like, you know, I know that's news to some people, but we have accepted that. Now it's time to accept, you know, next step. It's like, yeah. Some of those things are so extremely, uh, I think, dangerous uh, when it comes to the attitude to the environment and the um, climate um, changes and so on. So yeah, that's something actually worrying. And I think uh, if you don't, I think it's hard to understand if you live in the middle of it, if there's a debate going on all, all the time. 
he does it with an ambiguous how the rest of the world sees it. But it's like, it's not a positive view of viewers. It's positive in the focus before and in many countries the thought about viewers is quite negative in the beginning. And I mean, can you hear me? I, I sound like the worst criticizer. Crit what do you call it? Criticizer. Yeah. Of the United States all the time. But I'm not. And I come from one of the countries that's probably most positive in the world. So, yeah. Bad news. But anyway, uh, enough about that. Uh, I hope things work out. And if they don't, we just have to forget about it and be happy about the new, new trading. Um, agreement with Canada is that. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, uh, Rio has discovered the fun of farting. And as soon as she farts, and she farts a lot because of her stomach issues, so she has a little burps and farts a lot, like a real lady. And she thinks it's so funny. And uh, Naturally, I don't say anything about it because I mean she can't help that, and I won't go into body shaming a two-year-old. But I don't think it's something you should be ashamed of. It, it's, I can think it's gross personally because I've been raised in the culture where you think it's gross simply. But I mean, it's a two-year-old, and she shouldn't be ashamed of her body functions like that. But yeah, sometimes it's it's funny to look at her, especially when she's farting and she's like letting up all of us like. And it's called uh, Pitta in Swedish, so it's like, Pitta! It's like, oh yeah, yeah, you're farting, come on, <laughs> don't do it from me, because it smells, but okay. Uh, but yeah, and also she thinks everybody else should put that. It's like a car should do it, and her frog should do it, and her grandfather should do it, and he does it, and doggy's doing it.